guys, this is the Ron from Speaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another digital art piece and it's gonna be sort of a fan art slash drawing trend for Fate Grand Order. So for those who don't know, Fate Grand Order is the mobile game in the Fate series that tries to put in all of the servants and some original ones from the Fate universe and you can summon them as their master. So it's pretty popular in Japan, like it's only been beaten by Gandu Fantasy lately, but it's pretty big in Japan and it's sort of slightly big in the West as well. I mean, I see a lot of people talking about it and stuff and it has servers now in Asia, like with there's a server for the Philippines, a ser server for somewhere else. I I've seen a couple of Asian countries opening up new servers, but either way, this trend came about um, with the latest Japanese update for the Japanese game. So basically, you have this place called the My Room, which is basically where you can, I guess, it's a resting place for your for your master. Um, the game options are there. You can check on your servant catalog of who you have and who you don't have. You can read up on your servants there. Um, what else can you do in My Room? You can edit your master information. Um, like the miscellaneous stuff of the game is there and you basically have a secretary um, in Kante Collection in Token Danbu, it's the secretary system where you have a you have a character greeting you and you can talk to them by tapping on them and stuff that's basically what the servant does in your room so in NA currently and in the first build of the game um, you set who your favorite is so that will be the person greeting you so when you're a new player, it's Smash Shoes and she's your only servant. But as, you, but as you acquire more servants, you can change who the person greeting you is. And that's where you can tap them for bond lines, for conversation lines, learn their dislikes and their likes, and what they think of the holy grail and stuff like that. Also when it's on your birthday, um, they greet you and stuff like that. So that's what the My Room is. And with the new Japanese update, they added a feature where you can set it to random. And A doesn't have this, it will come with Season 2 Lost Belt, assuming they, they don't try to implement it earlier. But it comes with Season 2 Lost Belt, so NA won't be able to do this. You need to have a Japanese account to be able to do this. Basically, you set it to random, and then you leave your room. You enter it again, and screenshot the first, you screenshot the servant that reads you. You leave, and then you enter again, and then screenshot the second servant that greets you, and then you fuse them together. So the first servant will be cosplaying the second servant, and that's how this f -Girl fusion came about. So I did enter several times, and I took screenshots every time, because I wanted to do several rounds of this fusion thing. But, I will explain later, but I don't think I'll be able to do every one, and yeah. So, the servant that I first got was Sasaki Kojiro from Fate Stay Night. He's the assassin of Fate Stay Night um, in Fate Unlimited Blade Works and somewhat for Heaven's Feel. You'll know about it if you watch the movie and stuff. But I got Sasaki Kojiro, uh, assassin, and then I got Caster Mephistopheles. <sighs> I hate Mephistopheles. Anyway, so Sasaki Kojiro is a one-star assassin almost everyone it, it's very hard not to have him because you can get him from the free draw in like with the friend point so he is nicknamed the legend or the regend with the context being that in fate grand order when the japanese game first launched and you were playing through orleans um it was there weren't a lot of assassins to have or if there were they were a higher tiered assassin. So you have like Matahari and Sasaki Kojiro um, and Sanson. And among all of those easily to get budget servants, Sasaki was the most decent. Matahari is support. Sanson, he's sort of weak, I think. He, he, he heals if you ascend him, but attack wise, Sasaki was better. Siegfried wasn't too helpful in Orleans either, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, um, because everyone had a Sasaki 
and he was the most decent assassin you could have for budget. Um, he became like the regent, and it became such a such a meme in the FGO community that when the NA released his like, it's not his rank up quest, it's his interlude. There you go, I remember now. Um, his interlude was titled "The Regent of the Samurai" <laughs> because it was such a meme. So I got the regent, and I like him as a character. And even though he's a one star, uh, I like him because of Fate Stay Night. He he seems like a cool. A cool dude. <laughs> so yeah. And then I got Mephistopheles, which unfortunately I don't particularly like. Um, I understand his character, his role in the story, but I really... He gets on my nerves. I guess that's the goal of him. Of, I mean, that's his entire character. He's, he gets on your nerves and stuff. And I think they did really well, but he really gets on my nerves. So sorry to anybody who does like Mephistopheles. I dislike him so much. So yeah, so we have Sasaki Kojiro cosplaying essentially as Mephistopheles. So I did mention that I did do this several times, like I took several screenshots of several servants, but I didn't really expect this fusion or this drawing to take such a long time. I originally wanted it to be sketchy, and a bit low quality, a bit like not much effort, not much color. Like do basic flats, do some shell shading, and then cell shading, shell shading. <laughs> do some cell shading and be over with it. But by the time I jumped on the bandwagon, people had a lot more time to draw, so they were putting out more decent works, and I sort of felt ashamed to just jump on it and be half-assed about it. So I ended up doing the full the full thing. So I'm busting out my usual techniques, my usual like, actually not really, because like with the line art at that time I was still planning, planning to be a bit more sketchy with it. That's why, that's why the shading is more hatched and not the usual clean line art. But when I started doing the coloring stage, I saw that people were putting more effort so yeah. So I ended up I ended up being serious about it. Like I wanted this to be a really fast, chill stream. Like it was it wasn't even supposed to be like a serious live stream. It's only live streaming because I tend to focus a bit more. When I live stream I don't constantly switch through my windows. That's why I'm jumping all over the place. Because like when I live stream and I know I'm gonna turn it into a video, I try to be still or as still as possible. Like not like with this I'm just jumping around constantly moving the canvas but when I'm live streaming with the intention of making it a video I try to stay in one spot for as long as possible and work on that area as long as possible but again I wasn't really planning this to be a video but because I was so serious about it in the end can't let that effort go to waste might as well make it a video I guess <laughs> so yeah I end up being quite serious with it I'm using like layer effects, I'm using like the more heavy machinery, heavy guns, shading and stuff like that. And it's it turned out okay. It's not groundbreaking in my standard for, for me. Um right now Chase still holds that standard of being like the, the somewhat of a groundbreaking piece for me. But it's it's decent. Um it's it's good enough, I think. <laughs> Also, I did try a couple of things with this drawing. So, since it's already here, as being serious about it, I wanted to try something else. So, it's with sh it's about shading, to be honest, actually. Why, 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 is this like, why is this like a confession? Anyway, um, it's about shading. So, um, in the past, I would just I'd play with the hue, the saturation, and the lightness. Is it HSL? Yeah, hue, hue saturation, lightness. So. To create the shadow for me before was to up the saturation and darken the lightness so it would be like a darker version of that tone. Sometimes I'd even switch it down just a little bit in, in hue to give it a little bit more punch but I didn't really do anything drastic. But what I was doing with my fist off is given that there were so many colors, that's why it took me such a long time. I swear his outfit is so damn complicated and so many details that 
I really, it made me doubt that I'd be able to do the other characters. That's why it took me, that's why I said that I won't be, I might not be able to do the other screenshots. Anyway, so since there were so many colors, I needed to find a way to make the shadows blend nicely and not look like a hot mess. Even though Mephistopheles is a hot mess. Is he hot? No, not really. He's a mess. <laughs> but what I was, what I tried out here was actually shift the tone of the shadows a bit more. So you can see here in the blue part, the shadows aren't quite blue, but it's leaning towards a more violet tone. And as you can see, that gave it more depth than usual. So I tried doing that to the rest of the piece, like right now with the reds. I shifted it to be a bit more colder. So as you know, in traditional, and even digital to be honest, it's really important for both mediums. But you hear the most in traditional mediums because of how paint works. So in when you're watercoloring or mixing paint in general, you would have these warm tones and these cool tones. Generally, your warm tones are your reds, your yellows, your oranges. And your cool tones would be, be your blues, your, your violets, your greens, and stuff like that. So if you mix a warm tone and a cool tone together, they will make a murky color. And that was a problem I encountered a long time ago. Like, when I would paint my watercolors, it would become murky. That was the reason. Now, for each color, it has a, a, a warm side and a cool side, I guess. So with red, for example, or actually here's, here's a better example. You see Mephistopheles's fluffy coat, or Sasaki Thopheles. Sasaki Thopheles's coat, um, it's leaning towards a more reddish hue somewhat. So that's, is that correct? Is that a purple? That's not quite purple, but that's a violet that's leaning towards a red. But it's still very blue. Um, versus his leggings, which is a bit purpley, or even has his bolero um, purple thing here, pinkish thing. That's 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 a that's a mix that's leaning towards the red. So if I mix those two colors together, it would be a disaster. It would, it would be a murky mess. But what I tried doing with the shadows for his outfit was I tried to make everything look cooler. So with his red top and with his magenta pinkish part over there, I tried choosing shadows that lean towards blue. So as you see in the color wheel, um, it's red and then this magenta pinkish tone and it's blue and then cyan then green and then yellow. So what I would do is instead of picking a red that would lean towards yellow or an orange, I picked a red that le that lent that that it it leaned lent what is lent lol it 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 leaned towards a more it leaned towards blue and the magenta and that makes the piece look a bit more cohesive now this you can accomplish this you can accomplish this with watercolor with washes but with digital pieces this is the first time i actually managed to figure it out to be honest i was i've been doing digital for years and years and years and i've only figured it out now and I haven't quite gotten it down yet but I think it's a really important technique and I managed to talk for almost 15 minutes congratulations me by the way the entire footage of this at 400% was an hour long so I've cut out a lot of footage and stuff so it wasn't much really that you missed but you get the gist so here is Sasaki slash Mephistopheles and I'm a fan of Fake Grand Order, I think it's obvious by now. Anyway, I hope you like and you will like and maybe subscribe to me if you enjoy this content. Follow me on the social media up on the screen right now. I'm running out of time and I'll see you around.